but what stories have been doing the rounds on social media. Now Mutlong taking us through the stories this week, and now there are some interesting topics this yes. week. Uh, let's start with the big one, the life ECD mania. I mean, this has been an absolutely tragic story, and I'm sure everybody uh, conveying their mm. strong opinions about this. It, it, it is a very tragic story. I mean, we haven't seen this in, in social media where people are reacting. So. Uh, I wouldn't say positively, but they're so um, angry at what mm. has happened, you know, in the last few months because we kept on getting different numbers that it's 34 people and now it went to 94. But when we ran a, a poll, Natasha, on our social media network where we asked people um, who must uh, take full responsibility for what happened, um, when the results came in, 18% um, said the MEC of... Uh, of health should be held accountable when mm. you had 62% who are saying all officials involved should be accountable and then you have 20% who says the health system itself is not good in South Africa so that's why we are seeing yeah. such things happening. I think that's a whole separate mm. issue on itself that this has unfortunately been something that's mm. put that into the spotlight is the state of our health care in the country. It, it, it is, it is. I mean you have also other provinces coming out saying um, these are the issues that we're facing in our provinces. I mean I know the Eastern Cape, I know we're doing a package on the Eastern Cape, there's one on the Free State and during the week when people were calling in, you know, talking about how their family members were missing for two days, mm. not knowing where they've been moved to. So those are the things that are coming out, especially now during this um, dispensation yeah. but what is more interesting is how political parties are also jumping on the bed we're gonna, I mean EFF um, pressed charges yesterday uh, of murder to, to the MEC and the uh, ANC Youth League um, said something in the lines that they will also press charges but we don't know um, if they've done it so far. Well, let's hope that the lives mm. lost were not in vain and that something will actually mm. happen with this and that it's not just people talking. But take us through some of the tweets. These are some of the tweets. It was a mixed reaction, Natasha. I mean, um, as, as I said before, um, this one by ZA Emperor saying people must go to jail for this. This will deter people from taking jobs they cannot do and gambling with our lives in the process. Um, one caller actually went on to radio saying we should look at um, the qualification of these MECs who are taking mm. positions uh, of this, especially when it comes to health. Yeah. Um, this one by a new Galaxy S7 promoting some phones. I am really <laughs> touched by this. It is shocking that greed would override the right of the life of any human being. I mean, these are some of the sentiments we're getting on Twitter. The last tweet we have is, it's, um, it's just never enough. This is terrible. I mean, yeah. people are shocked. Yeah, absolutely. All right, another story that we had this week is uh, famed advocate Kheri Nell mm -hmm. resigning to join Afri Forum. And um, again, something that generated a lot of mixed reactions. It's he got a lot of criticism mm -hmm. um, and then also a lot of people sort of cheering him on. What uh, Take us through what people have been saying. It was a mixed saying. reaction. When I was looking at the stats before the news broke out, I mean, Kheri Nell was already pulling traffic. I, I don't know for what, but on, uh, when the news broke out, it went from just a normal hashtag on social media to about a million um, impressions, impr uh, two million impressions on social media. But we also ran a Twitter poll where we asked people, what do you, what do you make of the uh, Herinal uh, resigning from the NPA um, reportedly to join Afri Forum. Um, the tweets, um, the, the reactions we got from the poll is that 37% said it's a huge loss to the state when you have 23% saying uh, he will do a good job there while you have 40% saying uh, Afri Forum is not a good choice because some people still view it as a very Afrikaner organization mm. but Afri Forum also came out to say if um, there are issues that black people want to press they, they can yeah. come it's not yeah. just an Afrikaner Afri organ yeah. organization uh, but if we read the tweets you will see it's a mystery action uh, amongst people mm. on social media so people are pro it and some are not. Uh. All right, for the sake of time, I'm mm -hmm. going to jump straight to uh, our last point. Um, <laughs> this one, Beyonce oh, pregnant Beyonce. with twins. I mean, I know it's, you know, Queen Bee we're talking about here, but mm. that picture in there, I just thought to myself, couldn't she have done, <laughs> couldn't she have done something a little bit more tasteful? And, <laughs> and no, I mean, I don't know what she's trying to do here. <laughs> Nobody knows what she's trying to do. But it had people going berserk. Natasha, this picture today has over 9 million likes on Instagram. <laughs> when it came out, it had 6 million likes on Instagram. So it was a big, 
um, thing that happened on social media. She did break the internet. And yeah. you know, uh, Beyonce is all about independence of women. Mm. Um, so there were memes coming out saying, I mean, so many memes. <laughs> uh, there was the one about lemonade where it says um, she released lemonade to tell women to leave their man, but she's busy making kids with Jay-Z. <laughs> so, I mean, as you can ah. see, these are some of the pictures that she released on her um, Instagram page. And more are still coming out. Yeah, this I is mean, a meme by <laughs> uh, Ellen. <laughs> Ellen also, she said she's also pregnant <laughs> since Jan. This also got a whole lot of traffic on social media. And this is Jay-Z. Yeah, um, this Jay -Z. one is good, yeah. Um, <laughs> this comes from the Spice guy who, who was yeah. cutting meat, but now they used two twins. And there's another one that is very funny from Destiny's Child. Oh, yeah, I it saw reads this one too. Beyonce. <laughs> Beyonce is pregnant with twins, but we all know it's not the first time she's carried two people. So <laughs> I mean, saying, yeah, she's zero, carried uh, th that one hashtag zero chill. I mean, this after, <laughs> yes. after Beyonce's thing, there's just been zero chill with this. No. Ah. <laughs> the last one, of course, Blue Ivy, um, talking when your inheritance goes down from one billion to three hundred and thirty-three million dollars. <laughs> so, yeah, people really had fun with this hashtag. Oh, I love it. Okay, Neo, thanks so much. We'll leave it no, there. Neo, so going through all of our multimedia news with us on a Friday.